Rochester played host to the dispute over a COVID regulation which was previously ruled unconstitutional. Advocates gathered outside the appellate court on Rochester's East Avenue as the court heard the final arguments in an appeal to this ruling. Some background here in July of last year, Republican State Senator George Borrello and other plaintiffs won a lawsuit against the governor as well as the New York State Department of Health over a regulation that would ultimately allow the Commissioner of Health to issue isolation or quarantine orders in order to control the spread of the disease. The judge struck that regulation down, saying it violated constitutional separation of powers. In March of this year, New York Attorney General Letitia James filed an appeal on behalf of the governor and the DOH to try and reverse the ruling. Outside the courtroom this morning, Borrello, his attorney, and supporters of the original ruling doubling down on the fact that they feel the government is overstepping boundaries. Rule 2.13 gave the Commissioner of Health the, the unbridled power to pick and choose which New Yorkers she could lock up. She didn't have to prove you were sick. She didn't have to prove you were exposed to a communicable disease. She didn't have to prove you were a health threat. She could issue an isolation or quarantine order at whim. With the force of police, they could have removed you from your home and put you into a detention center, a facility, whatever you'd like to call it. There was no age restriction. So they could have done this to you, but they also could have done this to your child or your grandchild or your elderly parent. Does the Department of Health have to follow New York state law when they want to remove someone from society who is a public health threat? The answer to that overwhelmingly clear question is, yes, of course the Department of Health has to follow law. If they don't have to follow the law, then What's the point of having the New York State Legislature? Thank you, God. Thank you. And I wear my vaccinated necklace all the time to say, I'm vaccinated. All of you. Yes, I know you're vaccinated. You're the smart ones. But you know there's people out there who aren't listening to God and what God wants. You know this. You know who they are. I need you to be my apostles. I need you to go out and talk about it and say, we owe this to each other. We love each other. Jesus taught us to love one another. And how do you show that love? but to care about each other enough to say, please get vaccinated because I love you, I want you to live.